Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pizza fans of all ages. My name is Mike and welcome to Pizza Mon Mario. And today we have a two-in-one video here. We got a Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl discussion video mixed with a Mike's Top Tens. And they're finally doing another Mike's Top Tens episode and finally doing one not based off of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, a few weeks ago, as I'm sure all of you know, I did a video talking about what I want to see for a Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl sequel. But now, I want to make a more structured version of that video. I'm going to list 10 things that I think Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 really needs in order to succeed. And this is assuming that the leaks are real and we are going to be in a sequel. Which, real or not real, I think we are going to be in a sequel at some point. Assuming that the devs are still working on Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl related content. I'm just going to get a little bit of a head start above uh, the devs, I guess, by announcing a sequel. We'll just say that. So, let's not waste any more time and get into my list. So y'all take a seat, get comfortable, grab your snacks and beverages, and let's get started. The first couple things on this list might not necessarily be like requirements, but I think there's some things that the game can really use, you know? Number 10 is a variety of music tracks. I'm talking like more than one menu music, like a couple of those, more music for each of the stages, and also like some remixes of like themes from the show, like in Smash Brothers, you know? Like give me the credits theme from SpongeBob to play on Jellyfish Fields. Give me a, a battle theme from Avatar to play on the Western Air Temple stage. Or like, give me a, a cat dog theme to play on cat dog stage, you know? I want stuff like that. And some people have also said that each character should have their own victory theme. I don't know if they need a victory theme per se, but like, a victory jingle would be nice. And then like, uh, whatever victory theme they have for the second game. Something like that would be cool. Like Spongebob could have like a Spongebob Squarepants type jingle for his victory jingle. Like Squidward can have like a sweet victory type of jingle when he wins. You know, I make it references to the show. Like I think I speak for everybody watching this video. We'd all love to hear the songs we grew up with from these shows remixed into a game like this. And if I'm not, let me be struck by a flying ice cream truck, and live. Number nine on my list is more original dialogue. What I mean by this is, you notice how like a lot of the lines in the game, especially in the arcade mode, are based off of references to the show? Now those are nice and all, but I like to see more original dialogue as well. Like, I want something more creative than just a random reference from an episode. You know what I mean? I mean, we can have some of those in there, obviously, but... I want to see some more original lines mixed in. And some character interactions, like in multiverses. Like, I want to see Spongebob interact with Garfield. I want to see Lincoln Loud interact with Danny Phantom. I want to see Jimmy and Hugh interact, you know? I want Jimmy to be like, Dad, what are you doing here? And then Hugh be like, I'm here to send you to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. It's just down the street, next to Chick-fil-A. Okay, you can't say Chick-fil-A, that's copyrighted, but you know what I mean? Give us something more than just referencing the shows. You know, imagine like Shredder interacting with Cat Dog, like Shredder being like, a two-headed mutant? Why didn't I think of that? And you can have Zim say to Jimmy Neutron, I don't care how smart you think you are. You are an inferior human, and you'll bow to Zim. Or something like that. That'd be more awesome than having a Krabby Patty at 3 in the morning. Know what I mean? Number 8 on the list is more competitive stages. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe in online play, only about 6 or 7 stages in the game currently are eligible for competitive gameplay. I think we should fix that. We gotta make every single stage in the Glowing All-Star Brawl 2 eligible for competitive play. Like, I'm okay with gimmicky stages, 
like Smash Brothers, but I think each stage needs to be competitively available as well. That's why I think we need like two versions of each stage. One for gimmicky play and one for competitive play. But every stage can be like a battlefield or a final destination like stage. And for the casual players that want to play with the gimmicky stages, each stage will have you be able to do that. Going back to the competitive side of things, what's important about having more competitive stages is that so all the players won't get tired of playing on the same six or seven stages over and over again. Let's have more of a variety of stages to work with. Know what I mean? So yeah, more competitive stages for All-Star Brawl 2. Not even just that, every stage needs to be competitive-able. Competitive-able? The heck? Uh, whatever. Number seven on the list is a demo. You know, I think it's very important that a game can release a demo so that the players can play it and then give feedback to the devs later on about what stuff they have to fix before the game comes out. If there do need to be any fixes before the game comes out. I think especially in the case of an All-Star Brawl sequel, since the first game sadly didn't like do as well as the devs probably hoped it would. So if they really want to make up to the fans that gave up on the first game, they gotta release a demo. So those people, as well as other people that have supported Nickelodeon and All-Star Brawl since day one, myself included, can get a first-hand look at the game. And if there are any things that need to be fixed before the game comes out, the devs can work on those, even delay the game if they have to, so they can fix those, and then release the game for a full launch, and we'll go from there. Now, if the game releases this year, I don't know where they'll find the time to release a demo, but if they ever can, you know, I think it's very important that they do, just so people can, uh, get their hands on the game earlier and then be able to help the devs make it even better if it needs any improvements. Like, you know how demos work, right? I don't think I need to really explain this multiple times, do I? Yeah, I didn't think so. Number six on the list is a more in-depth arcade mode. Now, the arcade mode in the first game is just play against these guys and that's it. We need more than that though, we need like more variety in it. We need some boss battles, maybe some mini games, maybe like three player matches, four player matches, maybe some handicap matches, like two on ones, three on ones. You know, make the arcade mode more interesting by spicing up a little bit. You can even give some arcade story modes like PlayStation All-Stars. I think I mentioned something like that in my What I Want to See for a sequel video. Yeah, Spongebob can like go around trying to find Plankton in the Krabby Patty secret formula. Shredder can try to find like the Ninja Turtles to destroy them once and for all. You know, and like you can have some rival battles, I don't know. Like Shredder and Leonardo, SpongeBob and Plankton, uh, Garfield and I don't know, Nermal, I guess. If you want to put Nermal in as a playable character. Yeah. Overall, just spice up the arcade mode. Make it more in depth, make it more interesting. Kicking off the top 5 portion of this list, number 5 goes to in-game unlockables. You know, give us some unlockable characters, unlockable stages, you know, to keep gamers engaged in the game. Say that 5 times fast. Give them stuff to work towards. Like to unlock Mr. Krabs, you gotta beat the arcade mode with all the Spongebob characters. If you wanna unlock uh, Carl Weezer, play uh, tournament mode with Jimmy Neutron. Or if you want to unlock Vexus, beat Arcade Mode with Jenny. You know, stuff like that. And if you want to take the Smash Bros approach, you know, let's fight the characters to unlock them. Let will see why not. And developers, whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not put any online unlockables in the game. Don't force players to play online to unlock certain things. Like certain other games. Looking at you, Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 Slime Speedway. And seriously though, the devs couldn't fix that? Like, they really kept it that way? Like, you just couldn't fix that, could you? Put all the stuff in the garage. And I'm still mad about that. Number four on the list goes to more and legit alternate costumes. I mean, for more, like, we need at least three per character. You can have four players on screen be able to tell who's who. But legit alternate costumes means not just hats, like actual costumes, like actual like cosmetic differences, not just another accessory. Like 
We don't need Nigel and Safari hat. We need him like a scuba diving outfit. Or like instead of Hugh and his uh, duck hat, give us cool Hugh Neutron, Frankenstein Hugh Neutron, you know? Now some characters already have that taken care of with like Leonardo and Danny Phantom, but other characters that are just hats and accessories, we don't need those. We need a uh, actual costume. I mean, maybe some of them you can keep, like the soda drink hat for SpongeBob, but most of them you can take out of the uh, rotation. You know what I'm saying? Number three on the list goes to more game modes. Arcade and battle, not enough, man. We need more than that. Give us a tournament mode, give us a survival mode. And most fighting games have those too. Give us some challenges like the Nickelodeon Kart Racers games. And there's two ideas I came up with. The game show mode. You play on the sets of Double Dare and Guts and Legend of Hidden Temple, stuff like that. And then the other one I had being the Kids' Choice Awards mode. You can either play or watch a match. People who watch the match can vote on who they think was the better player. You know, so the Kids' Choice Awards. And if it's possible, add a story mode. Give us a full interaction with all these Nicktoons characters. Like the Nicktoons Unite games of the past. You know? You see Spongebob interact with Jimmy Neutron again. And Garfield and Rocco and like Jenny and Lincoln Loud interact. Cat Dog and I don't know. Parker J. Cloud from Middlemost Post if he joins the roster. You know? If you can give us a story mode, then do it. But in general, we gotta get some more game modes, for sure. Number two on the list goes to more characters. I mean, obviously we're gonna get more characters in the sequel. I mean, I'm not gonna give it the same 25 and that's it. But we don't just need any more characters. We need a more variety of characters. We need villains. We need a nice balance between the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and present eras of Nickelodeon. I want a nice variety of characters from each era of Nickelodeon. Even if the shows are hated, I don't care if people hate Sanjay and Craig, I don't care if people hate Fanboy and Chum Chum, I don't care if people hate the Mighty B or whatever. I want to see a huge crossover with the NCU. A lot of different shows, a lot of different characters, even with the shows that are already represented in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 1. They can use some more characters. Like we can use another Rocco's Modern Life character, another Danny Phantom character, which you might get with Vlad. We can use another Zim character. We can use another Garfield character. Give me Odie. Give me Binky the Clown. Give me John. You know? And also we need Arnold. Hey Arnold. We need Eliza Thornberry. You can give us another Rugrats character somehow. I don't know how, but unless you want to not include the babies, but give us Angelica then. If you want to, you can give us the all grown up versions of Tommy and Chucky. And I think if it's possible to expand upon just adding Nicktoons, give us the Mick Jr. characters. You know, might be a stretch to get characters like Skipper or Poe being third party characters, but if you can somehow get those characters in there, put them in as well. I've said this multiple times in other videos, I'll say it again. A nice variety of characters in the roster is what I want to see. And I think that's what the game needs. Before we move on to number one on my list, let's talk about one honorable mention that I have. That is the inclusion of more items. We can bring back all the ones from the first All-Star Brawl, but then give us a few more, you know? Like give us a purple flurp item you can shake up and spur your opponents with. Or you can jig yourself too and heal up. If you add Fairly Odd Parents representation, you can have like a wand item that can blast opponents away with its fairy blast. Maybe you can have, like, the flea belt from Cat Dog, and the person who puts it on be protected from fleas that uh, arrive on the stage afterwards. And the other players can uh, steal the belt from the player with the belt by attacking them and taking the belt. You know, just till the fleas go away and the item wears off. If that makes any sense. But yeah, I think we can use some more items in All-Star Brawl 2. Especially if that game gets more and more shows represented like Fairly Odd Parents or Making Fiends or El Tigre and stuff. You can get like items from those shows in the game. But now that's out of the way, let's move on to my number one feature that I believe Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 really needs.
And number one, the final feature that I believe Nickel and All-Star Brawl 2 really needs is crossplay. Oh, there's a big surprise. That's an incredible... I think I'm going to have a heart attack and die from that surprise. Yeah, I'm sure you all saw that coming. Number one is crossplay. I mean, do I even need to say that at this point? I mean, it's been the main feature missing since this game first came out. I mean, crossplay is very important, especially for fighting games. You're going to play with anyone at any time, no matter what console you have. And it's arguably the biggest thing in the entire game, entire first game that is, that held it back. So, you gotta have crossplay in the sequel, for sure, if you want to increase the lifespan of it. And I think there's a good chance that crossplay will be in the second game, because there was that time in March when crossplay randomly came for Switch and PC players for All Star Brawl 1. So, they'd have to have crossplay in All Star Brawl 2 by that logic. And let me tell you, if the sequel does have crossplay in it, I will actually play the game online. It will actually give me an excuse to play a video game online. Because you guys know me, I don't usually play games online. But if Nickel and All-Star Brawl 2 comes out and has crossplay, I will actually buy the online service for Nintendo Switch and play the game online. I'll support the online community for All-Star Brawl 2. That will literally be my only reason to get the online service for the Nintendo Switch. Well, unless I get Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 Slime Speedway and get the online exclusives if I can. But other than that, that'll be my only reason. All-Star Brawl 2. So, Game Mail Entertainment, Ludosity, and Fair Play Labs. Assuming you'll all be working on All-Star Brawl 2. I mean, I don't see what other companies would. You know what you gotta do. You gotta give us that C-R-O-S-S-P-L-A-Y. Give us that cross-play. Got it? good and those ladies and gentlemen are the top 10 features that i believe nickelodeon all-star brawl 2 really needs now of course we don't know if this game is actually going to happen it's all just rumors and leaks right now but like i said i figured i'd get a little bit of a head start going before we get any reveal trailers for the game you know some stuff that maybe the devs can add while they're uh Still not revealing the game yet, if they haven't added some of the stuff already, you know. And I guess now I'll ask you guys, question of the video, what are the top 10 things you believe Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 really needs? And let me know what you guys think about my list. Anything you agree with, anything I forgot about, let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A nice return for Mike's Top 10s. I plan on doing a Mike's Top 10 episode my top 10 most wanted characters for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. But I think I'll wait till we get a reveal trailer for it. But yeah. If you guys have any other ideas for Mike's top 10s, let them know in the comments below. But for right now, it's time for me to hit the road. That's gonna be it for today's video. Did you like it? If you did, give me a solid and punch the like button below like a piece of dough. And if this is your first time on this channel, you like what you saw, and you wanna come back for more, hit that subscribe button to become a member of the Pizza Mind Mario Party today. Share it with your friends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, or shout out motorcycle, whatever you want to share with. Hit that bell and turn notifications to be the first one to see all our current videos. Have a bit of time, leave a comment. Until next time, this is your boy Mike signing out. So, peace out, John. Hope you have a great rest of your day.